New York State has more public libraries than any other state. It has 696 more public libraries than Georgia does. If the total number of public libraries for these states is 812, find the number of public libraries in New York and the number in Georgia. All right, so we need to go ahead and, by the way, read and reread until you understand that exercise. Remember, we're not told that New York State has 696 public libraries. We're told that it has 696 more than the number in Georgia. So let's let X be the number of public libraries in Georgia, and then how can we represent the number of public libraries in New York? 696 more than this, so that's X plus 696. Very important for you to understand. And then let's translate to an equation the number of Georgia libraries, which we've let be X, plus the number of New York public libraries, that is X plus 696, is equal to the total for these two states, which is given to us to be 812. We've translated to an equation, now let's solve that equation. Notice I can take a step and take off parentheses, and that's simply X plus X plus 696 is equal to 812. And then I have like terms, x plus x, that is 2x. And then if you don't mind, I'll put plus 696, and I'll leave a space because I'm going to isolate this variable term by subtracting 696 from both sides. Now look what I have on the left side, simply 2x, and then on the right side, 812 minus 696, that is 116, and then we finish solving by dividing both sides by the coefficient of the variable, which in this case is 2. And 116 divided by 2, that is then 58. Now the question is, what does 58 mean? We are now interpreting, remember 58 is X, so that is the number of libraries in Georgia. So how do I calculate the number of libraries, public libraries in New York? I take 58 and I add 696 to it, and 58 plus 696, that is 700. 54. 754. How can you check? Well, find the sum of these two. That sum should be 812, and it will be. And then make sure that this number is 696 more than this number, and it also is.